Hello and welcome to week one of New Year, New Me. <laughs> uh, so I did document my whole week, my workout, some of what I ate, and my results for the week. So enjoy! So it's Monday, I got up early, I did my 20 minute bike ride, and then I did some laundry and got my son on virtual school, because he's doing virtual school for the week. And I did it. I got up, I made my bed, I'm ready to go. Pretty proud of myself. Hopefully I can keep the momentum going. New year, new me. Okay, so it is Monday so far. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock. So I always said um, in my last video that I would probably cook around this time and that happened to work out perfectly for me today. I'm back to work after two weeks, so I have like a thousand emails to catch up on, but I had a quick break, so I figured I would come in here and cook really quick. I'm making a couple eggs. Um, some turkey bacon, and then I'm gonna have a piece of whole wheat toast with peanut butter as my breakfast. So, just gonna come in and update you really quick. So far, so good. All right, so these are the ride stats from my Monday ride and my calorie burn. And a quick shot of what my breakfast looked like that day. <laughs> Just finished my Monday workout. I burned, hang on. Ah, I burned 329 calories. I got my two walks in today and I did my bike this morning. So today was a successful day. Okay, so my after workout protein shake ride stats for Tuesday and Tuesday ride stat results for calorie burn. So it is Tuesday and dang it, I'm tired. <laughs> I did get up this morning. I'm actually having some greens right now. Koss has really good greens. I'll show you guys my supplements later um, this week of what I'm using, but Koss has greens that actually taste good. Um, I've done a lot of greens in the past that are just icky, but these are really good. They taste like apple um, and they don't, they don't taste gritty, so that's good. But I got up this morning, I got on my bike. Um, I did my walk for the day. I need to do one more before the end of my work day, but I still have a couple hours. Um, but going strong still, so I just wanted to check in. All right. I've been having apples and Nutella as an afternoon snack, and I love it. Tonight's workout. I don't know why. I have no idea why. But that was really tough. I haven't lifted weights in so long. Whew. Okay, Wednesday morning ride stats and my ride stat results. Breakfast was an omelet, wheat toast with chia seeds and peanut butter. That one was good. It wasn't as hard as last night. I don't know why I'm struggling with lifting weights so much, but it was, uh, it was a good workout tonight. I just take the cardio drills, like especially like the, you'll see them. I don't include my whole workout in this video, just little snippets of it, but the cardio drills with like where you're holding the, the towel behind your head, whew, about died. But that's how I almost broke my ankle a few months ago. I was doing this program on the cardio drills and I had a pair of sweatpants on that were like way too big because I'm five foot two. <laughs> so everything is way too big or long, I should say. And um, I was doing like a, a jump and my leg got caught in my pant leg and I came down and crunched. And that is why I'm fat right now. I can't even think about it. 
It made me want to throw up. I've never had pain like that before, but tonight's workout wasn't so bad. And Ralph says hi. Say hi, Ralph. Hello. He just wants me to play with him. <laughs> All right. These were my workout stats. I was clearly shaking from the workout. So I ordered a couple of bathing suits from Cupshe, and I like them, and I can't wait to see what they look like after I lose a few pounds. Thursday morning ride results in my calorie burn. Thursday workout at night, and I guess I'll show you my stats before the workout. It was arm day. Okay, so I promised to show you guys the supplements that I'm using. Some of them aren't actually here yet. I did order some Goli um, apple cider vinegar gummies, and they're not here yet, but I figured I would give them a try because I saw a couple YouTube videos of people that have like um, gastrointestinal issues that it's great for that, and so I figured I'd give it a shot. I have in the past taken shots of um, apple cider vinegar, and I do notice a difference with it, but it's just really bad for your teeth. Um, so I was like, maybe these gummies will do better. So that's one supplement I will not be showing you, but I am going to start taking as soon as it arrives. Um, but the rest of this I use faithfully and I will tell you all about it. So, sorry. Um, so the first thing that I take every day, as soon as I get up, I take these Spring Valley Women's Multivitamin Gummies. Um, and they say that they're immune system, energy, metabolism support. I get this from Walmart. Um, they come in a pack of 90, but you're supposed to take two every day. So I do these, um, it's just kind of like having a little treat in the morning, even though it's not really a treat. Um, but I really like these a lot because they're easy to take. And I did try some other things. Sorry, people keep emailing me. Um, I, I did try some other things, but they were, um, they, I just didn't like them. So for instance, I love a lot of the Mary Ruth's products. And if you've never heard of Mary Ruth's, I take their nighttime multi-mineral, um, and this really does help me sleep. Um, I've recommended it to a lot of people, but it's just supposed to just, like, relax your body and allow you to go to sleep and have a restful, deep sleep, and I swear by it. And I noticed when I started taking it, I tracked my sleep on my Fitbit. Um, I am sleeping better <laughs> and more soundly, so I do like it. I'll post the links for all of this in the video so you can go pick this stuff up if you're interested. Um, also in the morning, I take iron, Spring Valley. If you haven't noticed, I like Spring Valley stuff. Um, I have really low iron. You can usually tell because uh, my lips aren't really pink and my hands get really white and I just have low iron. I get the pits in my nails and everything else. So um, I have to take iron or I just don't have it. My body doesn't absorb it for some reason. Another thing that I take from Mary Ruth's that I really like is their probiotic. So you can see this is a... Um, this is a probiotic beauty. I also have their liquid probiotic, and honestly, I think I like it a little bit better than the, the pills. Hang on, I'll see if I can get it to focus. Um, the liquid probiotic is good. Now, Mary Ruth's is a little bit pricey, um, but usually I try to hit them up when they're having a sale or like a special for like a big, a big group of um, their stuff at one time, because the way I got introduced to it was I bought their liquid um, multivitamin, which I did not like. It <laughs> did not taste good at all. And then I ended up getting Coconut Dreams, and this one's called Lemonade Dreams, so you can see the difference. But the Coconut Dreams was disgusting, and I didn't like the way it tastes, but I liked the, the way that it worked. And they have it in, like, little travel size mini bottles, too, if you'd rather have a pack of those versus this. But this just stays in my refrigerator. You do have to keep it cold, so you can't leave it out. Um, so it does take up some real estate in your fridge, um, so keep that in mind if you buy this. And then as far as, like, just supplements to help with my diet, I love the costs. Um, line of stuff if you ever heard of cost. So 
I do their um, plant protein and this one is mint chocolate because I love mint chocolate. So sometimes I'll take this after a workout or if there's a day that I notice I didn't get enough protein. Um, I take that. It has 20 grams of protein. And then I also love their greens. Um, in the past, like I, I've taken greens by several companies. The only companies that I actually liked it, um, I liked and I used was It Works had like a chocolate green that was really good, but it was sort of expensive and it would still had a little bit of grit to it. But um, cost is so good. This one tastes like apple. And so I'll throw it in with some water and a little bit of ice and just mix it up and drink it. But it's really good. I like it. I was impressed by it. So I will continue to buy this. But those are the, the supplements that I use on the regular. I don't try to over supplement or do things like that, but we'll see if this combination works. And I'm really excited to try the goalie gummies. So once I get them in, I'll let you know how they're working. All right. So this is all of my supplements. Okay. I forgot one thing only because I don't have it in the actual container. So I do use a collagen that I put in my coffee every day and I've been doing this religiously for about two years. Um, I started taking it because I had a shoulder injury and I was told collagen helps with like joint injuries and stuff like that. Um, but it's actually really good for like your skin and your hair and stuff like that too. And I firmly believe that it works because I find that like my skin has just been better since I've done it. Um, so I will include a link. It's by Wellpath. It's called Renew Collagen. Um, protein and I just put a scoop of it in my coffee every day um, you can't taste it so it's just like I just add it in and I'm good to go so I forgot to mention that but the, I do use that religiously like every day and I order it every month it's like an auto ship thing on Amazon so I will include a link to that as well all right for the record I feel like shit and I don't want to do this but it's the last workout of the week so I'm just gonna knock it out instead of putting it off Hey you guys, I am checking in. It is Saturday and I don't have any scheduled workouts today. So it's kind of like a, a rest day today and tomorrow. I didn't ride my bike yesterday. So I'm going to get on the bike tonight for about 20 minutes because I said I was going to ride it 20 minutes a day, five days a week. Um, so I did it every day last week except for Friday. I just was like really run down. Um, I contracted COVID over Christmas break and man, I think that's why my workouts have been so hard. Um, but we are all over it and everything. We're not like quarantined or anything like that anymore, but I think I still have some like lasting symptoms. Like I still can't smell or taste anything and I've been really, really fatigued when I work out. So I think that has something to do with it. I should probably call my doctor. Maybe I shouldn't be working out, but I'm still working out. Um, but anyway, so today is a rest day. Tomorrow I'm going to weigh in and then do my measurements just to see if there's any progress at all. Um, and then I did have a little treat today. So I've been like you know, pretty good about my diet, just being sensible, um, that kind of thing, and just really focusing on portions. And I've been sort of intermittent fasting, like I said, I would, I'm really not eating until like 11. Like today, I didn't even eat until 3, um, which I know is terrible, but um, I was just busy this morning running around, had stuff to do, and then came home. My son is watching football. Why? He loves the Bills, so he's really excited right now. Seriously. Okay. So anyways, um, the next two days are rest days. I'll do my measurements and weigh in tomorrow and we'll call this a week. <laughs> All right. Bye. Okay. So it is the end of week one of me just trying to do better self care. I'm not really calling this like a diet or anything like that. Cause I've really just been focused on like eating better foods and making better choices. Like for example, yesterday, and I did go get fast food once this week, just once. Um, my son wanted something to eat after I had some things to do. So I went to Wendy's and normally I'd get a huge meal with fries and a drink and everything else. Um, but I just got a sandwich. I just got a spicy chicken sandwich and I got my son the Baconator with Baconator fries because that was his request. 
Um, but just making little swaps like that, you know, like not having fries with it because the sandwich was plenty. I didn't need fries. <laughs> um, and like even today, like this morning, I made pancakes for them. They had chocolate chip pancakes. I had a couple of just regular pancakes. Um, and then for lunch, I just had some chicken. So um, just making swaps that still satisfy me, um, but don't make me feel like I can't have what I want because that's when I fail. <laughs> and now since I had uh, pancakes and chicken, I'm having my uh, mango and spinach smoothie to kind of balance out the day and make sure I'm getting vegetables and fruits. Um, but I'm really happy with my progress this week. I didn't go into it with any real expectations other than just getting it done. Uh, I think the thing that's working for me right now is mentally just not thinking about it too much, just going through the motions and treating it as any other task. So like when I go to get up in the morning and get on my bike, I don't think about it. I just get up, put my shoes on, I get on the bike, I check to see when 20 minutes is up, and then I get off. Um, so I did do the bike four days this week. I missed Friday. I still haven't made that up yet because we've been running around like crazy all day. Um, I assembled like a laundry sorter and I still have to make a couple more things because I'm trying to just organize my life a little bit more. Um, but I haven't had a chance to get that ride in, so I'm going to try my best to get it in tonight just so I can say I had my five rides this week. Um, I got all five of my workouts done, so that was good, and I ended the week losing two and a half pounds. So I'll show you that way in just a second. All right. Okay, so let's show you my weigh in this morning. So this was my weigh in this morning. Uh, you can see I'm down 2.6 pounds. So last week I was 171 and some change. Um, some changes happening here overall, but still not anywhere close to where I want to we want to be. But I'm just gonna take this really slow. Um, because I generally do better when I lose weight slowly, it tends to stay off. So that's the goal. Okay, so that does it for this week. I did go today. I bought a new, um, the air, ugh, it's the Instant Pot that air fries because I use the crap out of my Instant Pot. It keeps me from like going out. I can make meals really, really quick in it. So I got the one that also has the air fryer because I was, had my eye on an air fryer and then my Instant Pot died and I saw that it does both now. So I bought that today. Um, and hopefully I will use that to make good healthy meals all week. Um, I did good this week though. I prepared all of my meals with the exception of the day that I did go out and I've been eating more from home. I've been eating a lot more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. So I think I'm on the right track. Hopefully I can stay on it. This week didn't feel hard other than just like my workouts were a little hard, but I still think that's just recovering from COVID. If you had or have had COVID, <laughs> um, you will be very tired for a really long time. I thought it was weird that I was still like fatigued, even though I'm pretty much over it. But I'm still always tired, so I'm waiting to be able to smell things again and not be tired. Um, so that does it for this week, guys. Um, I think that's it, yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching, and tune in next week whenever I post more results, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, bye.